Ackerman. And the number one way to put more pep into the DX hobby, free rectal exam with every 25 QSLs. <laughs> and items from the press, all of which we know must be true, otherwise why would they bother with it? Heard on WBZ Boston were the names for our president, Bubba and Evita. And on WLS Chicago, President Doofus. Actually, I've always liked Slip Willie and Tory Potter. Heard on WCBS in New York recently, U.S. foreign policy is always better understood when it's red Real slow. The Indonesian population minister has been compared to a similar official in Thailand known as Mr. Condom. When appearing recently in West Java with a group of military generals, he introduced himself to the crowd as Commander Condom. Well, are you sure you're using that incorrectly? Well, he ought to. He's Commander Condom. Colorado State Education officials have closed Notre Dame de Lafayette University, which offered religious degrees by mail. In 1993, the school offered a degree in Christian counseling to a golden retriever. School officials denied any wrongdoing. I don't know. Our next real stuff comes from China and deals with their version of Bigfoot, which they refer to simply as wild men and wild woman. A wild woman is reported to have approached a Mr. Li Mingji. He reported that she had a large nose painted red by the cold. Through her hairy chest, he could see that she had breasts the size of rice balls and nipples the width of thumbs. She was grinning. She came up and hugged him for six minutes. During the embrace, she made motions with her body suggesting an interest in sex. Mr. Lee, alas, did not partake of this unique opportunity and spurned the advance. I wonder what I'd do if I saw something like that. I have seen sick Well, I'm not sure that's the way I'd react, but who can say? Heard on a recent pan global wireless broadcast was the motto of Bartman. I can fight so hard I can fly through the air. I like that one. An AP story from Detroit says that Arab Americans are up in arms over a greeting card made by recycled paper greetings. The offending card says, So, you're feeling like Shiite. Don't make a big deal out of it. And, of course, an installment of actual stuff would not be complete without a quote from that eminent radio telecomedian, Dr. Gene Scott, heard on WPSPR. I'm not on trial here. You are. I want 3,000 people to call me right now. Is there no length to which this man will go? And you can going to kill for me if necessary. I would put that past him and hopefully we'll be here to record it. Radio as Tucker, the station that gives you gross, not net. And here's a word from yet another new sponsor. Hey there, guys. Wemos 
got a new product you can use. Dippity Dong Liquid Condoms. No more worry about using the wrong size. No more worry about too thick or too thin. No more worry about a tattered rubber flapping in the breeze. Dippity Dong is a new patented formulation of liquid butyl rubber latex. All you provide is the hardener. Once the old Johnson is parked up, just dip it into your jar of Dippity Dong. Have your friend blow on it for a few seconds and you've got an extra skin with all the protection you'll ever need. Dippity Dong jar come in three sizes. The quickie, the long weekender, and for you optimistic types, the one gallon bucket. Look for Dippity Dong in the cosmetic section of your favorite sporting goods store. The other day, I ate a ricochet biscuit. Well, it's the kind of a biscuit that's supposed to bounce off the wall back in your mouth. If it don't bounce back, <laughs> you go hungry. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Today's radio horoscope, advice and wisdom. From the sign of Arnold the Terminator, all that hisses is not quiet. For the sign of Anarch the Barbarian, DXing pirates is as much fun as getting your pecker caught in a milking machine. For the sign of Hertz the Cyclist, listen to Glenn. He has so much to say, there's bound to be something useful in there somewhere. For the sign of illegible verifier, if you listen to more than one station at a time, you are guilty of shortwave infidelity. And finally, from Diode the Twins, you are what you listen to. from one-shot wonder Jean-Guy Pepsi of Smith Crossing, Quebec. You know about Quebec. That's the place where all the rest of the Canadians say, I want you to go home. 
John asks, why can't we ask Glenn Hauser for advice on receivers? Do you have any advice on receivers? John, by all means, ask Glenn for advice on receivers. Just be sure to explain clearly in your letter that you are talking about the metal box that he saw Ernie Bear using to get all his DX from the last time he was there. My advice for receivers is to go in and avoid getting hit. Our next legitimate letter, letter comes from Fred Buffle of Los Angeles. Fred asks, what's a repeater? Fred, you've spent far too much time either DXing or abusing yourself. Frankly, we're surprised that you haven't heard about this as much as it's been in the news the last couple of years. Taking the chance that we've belabored the point too much already, a repeater is an operation performed on John Bobbitt after his beaterectomy. abused his privileges and out here. They're getting red and he's out of here. Send your insightful queries to Dr. Radio, Post Office Box 7415, Blue Ridge Wells, East Jersey. Saturday this weekend for some real fun. The politically incorrect women's auxiliary has a full day planned. At one o'clock, check out the Spotted Owl Chili Cook-Off and the Snail Darter Gumbo Contest. Yum, yum. At two o'clock, head for the main arena for the Cribble Races. Right after that, the Mrs. Housewife Contest will be held. This year, there will be a different weight division for the largest breast competition. All day long, you can check out the progress on the Black Suntan Contest. At 3 o'clock, near the entrance gate, there'll be an ethnic slur contest. Suggest you bring a lawn chair and earplugs for this one. At 4 o'clock, head back to the main arena for the Jeffrey Dahmer Impression Contest, which will be followed by the ever-popular Longest Booker Contest. At 5 o'clock, everyone is asked to head for the racetrack. Join hands for the grand finale circle jerk. an orgasmic event, send your excruciatingly detailed reception report, three men stamps, and a detailed description of your best-looking neighbor's habits to DVS Communications, Post Office Box 452, Wellsville, New York, 14895. And I'm trying to prove you anyway. Just that you folks and me, Bram Stoker, have a fine need to do this. Until next time, this is your announcer, Bram Stoker, leaving you with this useful advice. Never connect your radio to an antenna with sparks coming out of the end of it. And never, never, never loan your boot to Alan Weiner. This has been Radio Azteca, program number 11. <laughs>
muchos muchachos y amigos del Radio Esteca, programa número 12.